teacher looking for a way to create creative and engaging lesson plans? Well, I've got just the program for you. I want to show you how to use Canva to not only create your lesson plans, but create the activities and principles that go along with it. I want to show you how you can take this free software program and have it revolutionize your lesson plans. Canva is an amazing tool and it even has some AI built into it. So let's jump over to Canva and see how you can use it for your lesson plans. There are several different ways to create lesson plans in Canva. So let's start with the simplest way that also incorporates some AI. When you open up Canva, you can choose create a design and I'm just going to choose doc. If you don't see the doc pull up, you could just search for it here in the search bar. Now, when this pulls up, you'll see a little plus sign. I'm going to go ahead and add magic. Their use of the word magic is what they refer to as AI in Canva. And we're going to use magic, right? If you have the free version, you won't have unlimited use of this, but you will be able to use it quite often. And so that is one reason I do suggest upgrading to the pro plan, but it is not necessary if you're not ready for that at this time. And educators also get an educator license on Canva. And so look into that too, because you may be able to get all the perks of the pro plan with just using your school email. Look into that because you may be able to use all of the features available because you are a teacher. So I'm going to ask the magic right to create a lesson plan for me. So I asked Magic Right to write a lesson plan for third grade that reviews addition within a thousand with regrouping, regrouping, include examples and make it interactive. Just takes a couple seconds here and then it generates a lesson plan for me. How awesome is this? And I can quickly highlight it. And just like a normal Google Doc or Word Doc, you have this simple you know, changing the size of the fonts, changing the alignment, adding the bullet points, changing the color of your font. You have all of that. You can also change the type of fonts that you use. All right. So here's our lesson plan. Here's our objective. Students will review addition within a thousand with regr regrouping through interactive activities to strengthen their understanding of the concept. We'll need whiteboards, base 10 blocks, flashcards, worksheets with addition problems and interactive online addition games. Gives you an introduction, begin the lesson by reviewing, regrouping, interactive activity, divide the class into small groups and provide each group with addition flashcards. Students will take turns solving the addition problems on flashcards, making sure to regroup when necessary, hands-on practice. Now here it says distribute worksheets. And you're thinking, well, it didn't provide me with a worksheet. Well, I'm going to show you how you can also create that in Canva in just a moment. But you can see that it gives you a quick outline of a suggestion of what you could do for a lesson for regrouping. And then when it talks about the online game, maybe there are some websites you could refer to, but it's just kind of giving you that idea in the lesson plan. You can also create a lesson plan in Canva completely from scratch, but you can make it look really nice and professional. So one way to do that is create a design again, and you can use a doc, you could use a flyer, which is portrait eight and a half by 11. And again, if these don't show up for you, you could just search for this size. There are hundreds and hundreds of sizes and templates within Canva. You can even use this custom size and make it the size you want. I suggest eight and a half by 11 because that is the size of a paper when you're printing it, but that's also what the doc will be. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to doc, but here on the left-hand side, there are a ton of tools you can use in Canva. We're going to just choose template and choose one of its pre-made template. Now I've used some recently, but I can also search lesson plan or school lesson plan, whatever it is you're looking for. Now, if you see this little crown, that means that is a pro version lesson plan and you can't use it unless you have the pro plan. Or again, look into that teacher plan because those may be included. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here because it's free. I'm gonna click on this and it adds the lesson plan here. Now I can take this lesson plan 
that it already gave me with the magic, right? And I can insert it in here and just make my lesson plan look a little nicer, a little more vibrant, if that's something that I need to, needed to do. And I could take this lesson plan and see how it says um, materials needed, learning objectives. So I can take the learning objective here, just copy. We're going to come over to learning objective and we can fill in this entire lesson plan the way that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. In a matter of minutes, I have now taken the lesson plan that the AI gave me and I made it my own with this cute template. And I just added everything that it gave me into this lesson plan. And I could add remarks, I could add notes, I could do whatever I need to, to change this lesson plan. I can even change the colors if I, there's specific colors that I want to use. And I can even change the fonts to any font that I would like to use for my lesson plan. I kind of liked the way they had it. So I'm just going to hit this back button and go there. Now, I did add in the AI, I did add one little part where I said I wanted it to add a, an assessment for this lesson plan. And so it gave me 10 questions that I could pass out maybe as an exit ticket for my students. So let's look at how we can use Canva to now add to our lesson plan and create the principle and the assessment to go along with it. We are going to come back to Canva, and on the left-hand side, I'm going to use something called Magic Studio, and then I'm going to use Magic Design, and I'm going to just click here where it says Try Magic Design, and then it's a little bit tricky. You could miss it, but up here it says Use 5 Plus Words to Describe Your Design, so I'm not going to choose one of these things. I'm actually going to type what I'm looking for, so I want a review worksheet for addition within a thousand with regrouping. We're just going to see what it gives me. This is going to be the worksheet that we use for the lesson. Now, isn't this awesome? It has all of these templates already made. And this one kind of caught my eye, but it's subtraction and I want addition. Oh, so let's try this one. And it has a little skeleton, but we can change that depending on what the answer is here. Let's see. I mean, that, that could work. So let's do that. And let's just customize this worksheet. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? And the answer is because he didn't have the guts. That's hilarious. So I'm actually not going to change out that. That's cute. I don't have to do anything. This worksheet is ready to go. And we've got addition and it does include regrouping. It's exactly what I wanted. So in my lesson plan, when it said activity, distribute worksheets with addition problems for students to solve independently, reinforce the regrouping concept. Here it is. Now I could design this from scratch because now I need an exit ticket with these questions. And I could use these questions it gave me and design it right in Canva, or I could use magic design and have it do something for me. But I'm going to show you how to design it on your own in case that's something you're interested to do. So now we're going to learn how to design this principle for our exit ticket for this lesson. Now let's design a printable from scratch. We're going to do our exit ticket for this math lesson. So I'm going to come up to create a design and I am going to choose flyer eight and a half by 11 because that is a piece of paper. Also, there's a little more ease to using the flyer, like with de the design and the templates than there is with a doc. So sometimes I like to design in a flyer rather than a doc, but it really doesn't matter. You can do either way. It's totally fine. I am going to go ahead and now I want to have two exit tickets on the page. So the exit ticket is going to be half a page. So I'm going to come to my elements and just an easy way to do that. You can do tables, you can do grids. I'm going to go ahead and do a grid and I am going to make these white but I am going to add a border so we can see where that halfway mark is, all right? So I'm going to create my principle 
right here. And I'm going to add my questions. Let's come to our lesson plan. Let's do five and then five. We'll copy and paste these five here. Let's see. We want to make these way bigger so they're easier to read. I can also adjust the spacing between the lines. All right, and I actually might want to make them a little smaller because we're going to do 10. You don't even have to do 10. Maybe you only want to do five. And in fact, that might be enough just as an exit ticket. So I think we'll just stick with five. I'm not going to use all 10. We'll do this. And then it gives them space to work, write their answer. You can add another little text box for their name. Now that is really big. And I don't like that the line here is dashed. So I will add a line here for the name. Let's just go to elements, come up to shapes. We're going to add this line here. And I can extend that line if I'd like right here. Whoops. If you want, you can add a border. If you do add a border, I suggest making it simple and not overpowering with the page. And so I would probably just add a shape like this. And I would make the filling of the shape, the color fill, transparent. But I would add maybe a border like this just to make it simple. And then I'm going to get my layers. I'm going to send it to the back here. So all of these items are in front. Now I do want to add just one more thing. I want to say exit ticket. So we know that this is the exit ticket for the lesson. And then I'd probably copy, paste, bring it down here. Now we have both of our exit tickets that you can use in your lesson plan. So with Canva, we quickly wrote a lesson plan. We jazzed it up by adding some color to it. It gave us that fun worksheet to go along with it. And then we made our exit ticket. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can find fun ways to use Canva in creating your lesson plans for your classroom.